Hello and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today I just kind of wanted to show you quickly how you can look through a bunch of vector files if you are like me and you have a collection of vector files but you don't have an application to browse them. Adobe, for me, can. So I open Adobe Illustrator and I just go to the file menu here and you click browse and what happens is it opens up Adobe Bridge and from here I think up here you can navigate I'm not an expert on Adobe Bridge I'm sure it's capable of so much more I just use it to look through my clip art and I think you can find you know whatever uh, drive or place here folder that you choose will show up in here and then you can go in here and click and do it that way okay so here's a whole bunch of clip art there's a preview up here you click on each one okay stuff like that so you can go through all your clip art or you can have favorites like this is my main folder and then from here like if you wanted you can drag these folders over here and make them your favorites so I have a couple folders that I might have saw something in that I wanna look at Okay, and then here, here's one down here. Let's look at this one. So we have it here, and then all I got to do to open it is double click. Oops. <laughs> okay, so here it is. It sh that should be selected all. And I'll copy, and let's see if I can get back to my window. This is an older, oh, there it is. Older version of Illustrator. So, all right, now I got to make a new layer for this because I've got. This is just a branding layer for this little thing, for the video, and then this is a registration marks. So I'll, I'll do a new layer, and I can name it, if you want, color one, that's cool, whatever, and paste. Okay, and now this is here. Let's see if I can scale a little bit. You know, and I'm just fooling around. Okay, so there you go. Uh, you know, this is how you can use clip art actually to make some cool stuff. Okay, so maybe we wanted that to be one color. Now, you know, you can go back and browse some more if you want. You know, you don't know who knows what you're doing. You know, you can use any number of items, open it up select all, copy, and after a while you probably want to close some windows because it could get confusing. Alright, and then over here, new layer, color 2, and we'll paste that. Now this, what I'm going to do, maybe, <laughs> if it works out, let's see. I'm just showing you how you can actually combine different pieces of clip art yourself and become, you know, almost an artist. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Even on a one color, a simple one color design. And, you know, you might want to figure out how to center this and, you know, you can play with this a little bit. I don't know what's going on in there, but look, kind of neat, right? You start creating stuff and this is a multicolor design that's very simple. Here's one color. Here's another color. It's very simple yet complex, but none of the colors really overlap, and you know you can control that. See, so you know you can make a complex design, but you know it doesn't have to be complex in the artwork necessarily. Okay, you see what I'm saying? We can add a new layer, and this layer here we could call text layer, and then you could add some text. Okay, and you would have a simple three color copy paste like that. Three color artwork. And, you know, you gotta work on it. This is just like showing you the basic things, right? So here's your text layer, that's one color. Here's another part, another color. Here's your first color, you see what I'm saying? 
and these are the registration marks I use for a simple spot color like this. Very easy. So there you have kind of a complex design, and then depending on, don't forget, the font you choose will add to it. So, you know what I'm saying? Use a font that's going to add to the design. There are so many different fonts you can collect. Okay, and then, you know what I'm saying? You see? All these different fonts that you can collect and use, and that's it. And you're on your way to creating some very cool artwork, even though it's very simple in its layout. But uh, when it's printed in three colors or four colors, or whatever you decide to do, it'll look very cool. And, um, you know, and you can also choose the appropriate ink colors. It's a whole thing. You can get creative. And manipulating the fonts in Illustrator is a whole nother thing that's really complicated. So maybe one day we'll look at that if I could get somebody to help me. Because uh, I'm not really good at it. I do it, but I'm not great. Where you want to arch things, and uh, you can make it slanted. That's really easy, but you can arch this as well to match this circular design. Alright, so that's it. I just thought I would show you that. Probably longer video than I wanted, but uh, there's the full color rendition of that little thing. All your clip art, how you can use clip art in Illustrator with Adobe Bridge to make simple yet complex multicolor designs for your t-shirts. Alright, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you see, rate thumbs up, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.